Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich with a quick weather update because it's snowing. Yes, uh, kind of a surprise how widespread the snow is, but we anticipated the snow arriving today. Uh, it's kind of overproducing in some spots. It's kind of interesting how much snow is actually falling out there, but we're not going to see huge accumulations. And here's the big part. This is not the main storm. This is just a little precursor. This is why we had a winter weather advisory in effect today through 6 p.m because we expected about one or two inches of uh, light snow on grassy surfaces, but the system has shifted just a little bit further north and is overproducing a little bit, there's no doubt. Uh, but as you look here, here's a look at the radar and current temperatures. Temperature is dipped below freezing in Charlotte. We're down to 32 in the Concord area. So it is cold out there, so some of this is beginning to stick. The roads, for the most part, I've been kind of looking and keeping an eye on things aren't that bad and I don't anticipate roads being a big issue today though some accumulation on some colder road surfaces are possible it's mainly going to be grass I was just looking at my yard I've got a dusting right now here in South Charlotte but here's a look at the radar and you can see everything's kind of moving north or southwest to northeast so if you're just north of Charlotte you're on the edge and a lot of this is not making to the ground let's look at the surface observations you can see snow falling in Concord snow falling in Albemarle and then snow is falling in Ashboro and down to Shelby but north of there Salisbury no snow uh, Lincoln County Statesville Hickory uh, no snow falling in those locations so let me turn off uh, a couple of these uh, things here will loop this and kind of give you an idea on the general trend of how things are moving from west to east. You can see the general trend has been right along the state line. Nothing really too uh, much of a northern shift or anything to the south. It's pretty much west to east. And if you look back into uh, northern Alabama and Georgia, uh, there's some moisture back there, but the back edge is already showing up. So this is not going to last the entire day. In fact, I think most of this will be done. Uh, by later this afternoon. But again, <clears throat> one, maybe two inch in a few spots, uh, certainly a good possibility. Uh, let's turn this off and show you the short range models. One of my favorite models uh, to look at is the HER model, which is basically the high resolution um, rapid refresh model. And this is the six hour snowfall from this model. It's run every three hours. And if we go in real close, you can see right here around Charlotte, that's about an inch near uptown. South Charlotte, about an inch and a third. Uh, down towards Union County, inch and a half, and then you get down here towards southeastern Union County into Anson County. There's a few spots in this darker blue that are around two inches. So certainly a possibility over towards Spartanburg, right in here near the state line, uh, there's a chance there could be two inches. But uh, as you go to the north, almost nothing. So that kind of shows you what's going to happen. And again, this is not the main storm. Our main storm is just beginning to take shape back in here over Texas this is where we're going to see things develop and if you look real carefully you can kind of see our low pressure beginning to develop back in there this is the beginning of our storm this thing's going to get out of here and then the next system's going to dive down and that's going to be the real deal I'll talk more about that this afternoon but here just wanted to give you a quick update on the snow falling this morning um, good idea that a lot of schools did end up uh, releasing a little bit early because these temperatures aren't going to warm up much this afternoon this evening. If anything, they'll start falling. So the roads may be wet now, but as things cool down, things will slowly get colder and will ice up as we go into the evening. So that's a quick update on what's happening now. I'll have another update this afternoon when I get into work and in NBC Charlotte. Of course, you can always follow me online uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, WCNC.com. If you don't have a weather app on your phone or you have a default one, please grab the Weathercaster app. It's our app. It's an app that we help to develop on our own with our company. It's not a third-party app. We'd love to have you grab it because there's great information, great radar, and more importantly, you get alerts sent to your phone as a push notification based on the location of your phone. So if you're not in a warning area, you don't get annoying alerts. You only get it if you need it. So please go grab it in the Google Play Store or the iTunes uh, Store right now. It's called Weathercaster, and you'll see it in there. So hope you have a great morning. Enjoy the nice, fucking snow falling. Uh, will not be a big deal today, tonight into tomorrow. That's when things turn ugly.